Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be comparing the three main Australian airlines. Now these are Jetstar, Qantas and Virgin Australia. I'll rate the airlines on their seats, their ticket price, their service and in-flight experience, their on-time performance and their staff. Now the seats on a Jetstar plane are in a full economy layout. Now, on their A320s, the seat pitch is 29 inches, and on their A321s, it's 28 inches, which is the worst possible pitch there is. However, these seats do recline, and they're made out of pretty good, decent material, so I give them a 2 out of 5. Now, the Qantas seats have a business class, and also 30 inches of pitch in economy, which makes them a little bit better than the Jetstar seats and they also have better material overall. So I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Now, Virgin Australia's seats have a pitch of 31 inches, which is even better than the Qantas ones. However, they're slightly narrower, but overall I'd give it the same, a four out of five. Now, next we have the ticket prices. Now, Jetstar is a low cost carrier, which automatically means that their ticket prices are gonna be lower. Although they're not as cheap as something like Ryanair, they're still pretty good, so I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Now, unfortunately, Qantas being the flagship carrier of Australia makes its seat prices very, very expensive, both domestically and internationally. So, overall, I'm going to give them a 2 out of 10. Now, Virgin's prices are slightly better than Qantas's, however, they're still very expensive. I'm going to give them a 4 out of 10. Now, Jetstar's service is usually pretty average. They don't really have that much. And the flights itself are usually quite bumpy. They don't really deviate too much around storms, even if it's possible. I'm going to give it a 1 out of four, 5. Now, the service on Qantas is quite good. They have a lot of service for premium people, but also for economy travelers. So I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. Now, Virgin service, I think, is pretty okay. They definitely provide some good service for premium travelers, and economy service is fine. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. Now, Jetstar unfortunately gets delayed all the time. We've had from small delays to 5 hour long delays to being downright cancelled a few hours before the flight. Jetstar's on-time performance is pretty shocking. I'm going to give this a 0 out of 5. Now, Qantas has also had a lot of um, a lot of delays and cancellations over the past, unfortunately. So, they are slightly better than Jetstar, but only barely. I'm going to give them a 2 out of 5. Now, Virgin's on-time performance has been so much better than the other two. Of all the Virgin flights I've taken, I think I've only had one delay in the past year, so I'm very impressed with their performance. I'm going to give them a 5 out of 5. Now, the staff at Jetstar is okay. I've seen some good and some bad. For example, when we got stuck in the airport after getting a 5 hour delay, one of the staff gave us um, some vouchers to use at the airport, which was quite nice. So, overall, I think I'd give them about a 3 out of 5. Now, the staff at Qantas is very top-notch and professional. I think they're really good. 5 out of 5. Now, the staff at Virgin is, okay, not really that much to say. I think they're pretty good. I'm going to give them a 4 out of 5. Now, Jetstar has had quite a number of incidents. However, it's having a plane be diverted just because that aircraft type hasn't been certified, or having a brawl on board, Jetstar has had a few incidents, but not too many. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Now, Qantas has had a fair number of incidents, especially now regarding the CEO of Qantas, Alan Joyce. It has not been super smooth. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. Now, Virgin Australia has had no fatalities and hasn't even gotten close in the amount of time that it's been a company for it. So they've done a very good job. I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. Now Jetstar is the low-cost carrier of Australia. 
In total, they've gotten 19 out of 40. Now, their ticket prices are much better than their competitors. However, every other aspect of them definitely makes them reflect them that they're a low-cost carrier. Now, Qantas' total is 22 out of 40, which is three points higher than Jetstar. Now, as we know, Qantas is the flag carrier of Australia, and they've done they do some things really well. However, they're also lacking in many other ways. And now finally, Virgin Australia. Virgin Australia's score is 29 out of 40, which makes them the winner by an absolute landslide. They, they don't cost as much as Qantas, but they perform really well. And whenever I fly on them, it's always an enjoyable wearing. So congratulations to Virgin. They're an amazing airline. And if you're choosing which airline you're going to fly next, pick Virgin. Anyways, thank you for watching, please like and subscribe.